O Lord, thou knowest how busy I must be this day. If I forget thee, do not thou forget me. But those are words attributed to Jacob Astley, just ahead of the Battle of Edge Hill in the English Civil War of 1642. They are words that are born of a moment of trial and of great fear and of great confusion, no doubt. And Astley's prayer, essentially, is that in all that's about to happen, God will not forget him. There's a sense of helplessness and a sense of sadness and a, a sense of honesty as well, the kind of thing we find in the Psalms. They're the words of a soldier, and they are shaped by a very particular fear, not a fear of the enemy, but a fear that in the busyness of battle, he will somehow, somehow forget himself and so forget his faith. Well, Psalm 143 always reminds me of Astley's words. As in the face of an enemy who has crushed his life to the ground and caused his spirit to fail within him, the psalmist prays fearfully that God will hear him and that God will not forget him. Well, I wonder, what, what are your fears today? What are the things that are, are worrying you? Perhaps there's a battle that you're about to enter into of your own, or perhaps you find yourself already very much in the midst of a battle. And in these strange times, there is seemingly so much to overcome. There's so many adversities that we have to face. There's so much fear. There's so much anger. And so we can see that in the shape of our very ordinary, everyday lives, we all have those moments when in the business of life, in the business of the battle that life can sometimes be, we too forget all of us. There are moments when our thoughts, when our words, and when our actions don't exactly reflect the faith that we hold and the faith that we profess. And that can leave us feeling uh, crushed to the ground, as the psalmist says, with our hearts appalled and heavy within us. And that's especially true when we realize that the reason for our forgetfulness and the real enemy that we've done battle with turns out to be ourselves turns out to be our, our frustration and our sometime unwillingness to live out of our faith. It's part of that tension, I think, of being in the world but living not of the world. So so much of our faith is concerned with overcoming ourselves, learning who we really are in the constant and the ever-present creative love of God. And the Psalms reflect this constantly. Frequently they begin in desperation and from a place of brokenness and then they seek out God before whom they sometimes lay out with brutal honesty all the challenges and frustrations that we find in life. But then it's in that space that reconciliation is born. Reconciliation born from a deeper awareness that God is always there, always present. And it's from that awareness and from a, a meditation on the divine works that the psalmist in Psalm 143 thirsts for the steadfast love of God. Teach me the way I should go. Let your good spirit lead me on the level path. Fabulous words. And when our own prayer and our own meditation becomes shaped and underpinned by teach me the way I should go, and lead me by your good spirit, then we begin to realign ourselves with the love of God and we move in faith and in a direction that we would recognize as hope. But so often the cause for our forgetfulness is fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of being left behind or of being hurt or of hurting others, fear of getting things wrong, fear of failure, fear of that God is not with us somehow, that God is not listening, that he's abandoned us and uh, somehow has forgotten us. Fear clouds our awareness that God is always there. It couldn't be any other way. And in Romans chapter 8, St. Paul writes, we did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but a spirit of adoption. And it's the adoptive love of God, our Father, which breaks that cycle of fear and teaching us to make the words of the psalmist our own, teaching us to pray, let your spirit lead me. I put my trust in you. Well, even today, even today, in the words that our Lord gave us, we pray, don't we, to be delivered from our enemies, and they are within us just as much as without us these days. Um, stress and anxiety, 
and worry and that feeling and that sense of unworthiness as well which is such a sad thing that I see so much in my ministry these are very often the the enemies within us but among them always is fear fear which in any ensuing battle can cause us to forget our faith and forget God but when I read or when I pray the Psalms I'm thankful that they witness to the truth that whatever I go through and however it makes me feel others have been there before me and importantly in the midst of everything in the midst of their anger and their doubt their worry and their fear the psalmists always seek God and in doing so enter into this reconciling space where there's only room for the truth and like the psalms themselves the truth can be uncomfortable and ugly at times but it's nonetheless it's honest and it's needed and very very important at the heart of our faith is the desire I think to be reconciled to God to one another and to ourselves and this is a unity which is uh, something we profess to be God's will and this reconciliation is sustained by faith by hope and by love and it's God's love that knows no bounds which will overcome fear it's no it's no accident is it that we find it at the start of every message that comes from God on the mouth of an angel do not be afraid we hear it in the words of our Lord himself as he walks across the stormy waters to the disciples and he says to them do not be afraid it is I so I know I know that if I want to overcome my adversity if I want to overcome my fear myself if I want to walk the path of faith hope and love a good place to begin is always the prayer that the psalmist gives us here teach me Lord the way I should go let your good spirit lead me for I put my trust in you I pray that that is something that shapes your life of prayer as well and it be at the beginning and the end of your prayer each day teach me Lord the way I should go let your spirit lead me I trust in you stay safe and God bless you Amen